Sports. We're here at Butler University, just north of Indianapolis. Whether you're visiting here, work here, or a student here, there's one face you're sure to see. Meet Butler's newest mascot, Blue Four, a tradition that started in 2000. And with three before him, Blue Four checks all those boxes. Adorable, check. Confident, check. Butler Bulldog spirit, double check. With the attitude of a champion and his custom made official collar, Blue Four has found his mutt strut with the help of his trainer and new handler, Evan Krause. So Evan, I saw on your Instagram photo, there was a throwback yes. picture of him and two other puppies with a veterinarian. So how do they pick him as the next blue? Absolutely. So we spent about a year and a half looking for the next bulldog. Okay. Um, one thing as a program we don't do is we don't breed our line. Um, we just are always looking for a healthy bulldog at the time we need one. We work with our veterinarian, Dr. Kurt Phillips of Cityway Animal Clinics, and he is a bulldog expert around here in Indianapolis. So we're able to lean on him. And once he has a litter uh, that he thinks is going to be very strong and viable, full of candidates, then we have about uh, three different uh, characteristics that we're looking for. Okay. Uh, the first is just overall health. Is, are they going to be a healthy bulldog with a with minimal issues going forward? Mm -hmm. uh, do they like people? And and the third is uh, just personality um, in terms of other dogs and uh, how they interact there because that's also a very important piece of it. Okay, so you have Blue for it. You've picked him. How do you train him? Yes, so we uh, lean very heavily on uh, bark tutor. So what we lean on them for is the the good citizen side of things. So can Blue sit, stay, leave it, greet people kindly, have great dog puppy manners that you're looking sure. for. Sure. So you've trained them, but you started in January of 2020. Yes. You only had two months exactly. and then a pandemic hit. So How he, was that? He worked super hard for those two months. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the biggest piece of Blue's training is uh, environmental exposure. Okay. Um, so we don't want anything to be his first experience out in the wild is our goal. Sure. So if we can try to control as many different experiences as possible, we will do that. So do you think he's ready for the big crowds? He had him in January and February. He so did. how does he deal with the screaming fans and you know, there, I mean, it can get pretty intense in here. It is, and I, I've been coming to Butler Games for a while, and there was no louder moment than when he was introduced. Mm -hmm. When he was 11 weeks old, he was introduced to that. So okay. he, he, he hasn't really known any different, and he thrives on the energy. Does he have a favorite trick that he does? He has his Go Dogs. Go Dogs? Which is his fist bump. Okay. Uh, it's uh, pretty special. A lot of dogs know how to high five, but this one knows how to fist bump, which is pretty cool. Instead of getting a, a wide variety of tricks, mm -hmm. we focused on the main ones he would need to uh, thrive in, uh, in a mascot setting. And then what does he do to relax? How do you unwind, Blue? Uh, Blue loves TV. <laughs> Oh, he does. Does he have a favorite show? He does. He ha he he loves his his show Dogs on Netflix. Dogs on he, Netflix. He uh, has his own episode in season two yes. of Dogs on Netflix that tells the story of Trip retiring and then us finding him. And then his favorite movie is definitely The Lion King. <gasps> the Lion King. Yep. So there is <laughs> there is the moment in our program we call it the Simba moment where we come into the center of the of the court and we lift him up to the crowd at his first yes. game. And so uh, to hype him up for that, when he was 11 weeks old, we watched it because our fans are so aware of that tradition uh, but ever since then he just watches it and he loves it. He loves it. Well you get a chance to take a day off too right? With his eye on the ball and of course the pregame treats, Blue 4 has already shown that he has got what it takes to be the Butler Bulldog. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Danielle McConnell.